Let us answer with the question. First point. 2 by 10 net 90 means credit period is 90 days comma if payment is made within 10 days comma there is a cash discount at the rate of 2 percentage second point if at all company is making payment in 10 days comma revised spot exchange rate is not given full stop so we assume that payment will be made at the rate current spot exchange rate only full stop Now we are doing answer one by one and with that so the respective note I will be dictating. The first is compute the dollar cost of paying account within 10 days. Now when we will make payment on 10th day exchange rate is not given. So we assume that set is 0.55 only. So for A it is amount in benchmark currency into exchange rate 1 lakh benchmark is a consideration minus 2 percentage so it is 98,000 benchmark into 0.55 dollar per benchmark so in that case it comes to $53,900 that is the way the answer of A question can be found B question I have not changed the language of the question however in my opinion it should be 90 days compute the dollar cost of buying forward contract absolute clarification is there to liquidate the account in 90 days. So let us answer amount payable in forward contract. In that amount very precisely it is the dollar currency In benchmark multiplied with exchange rate amount in benchmark is 1 lakh into 0.56 dollar per benchmark that is 56,000 dollar this is what we understand C question because in this case you will not be getting the discount advantage. Differential between part A and part B that 
that is $2100 is a result of time value of money that is the discount for prepayment portion uh, sorry discount for prepayment and portion from the currency value fluctuation because the dollar currency depreciates determine magnitude of each of this component each of these component so for c question we understand that sugar incremental amount 56000 minus 53900 that comes to $2,100. This $2,100 would be divided into two parts. One is the time value of money component. In that, it is 2000 Dutch mark into 0.56 dollar per Dutch mark. So it is double one two zero dollar. And uh, currency fluctuation. In that case, it is 98,000. That is the common payment. Okay. Because the 98,000 Dutch mark which I was able to purchase at 0.55 now the same is required to be purchased at 0.56 so 98,000 into 0.56 minus 0.55 so 98,000 into 0 0.01 fine so it is $980 so double one two zero plus nine eighty that comes to exactly twenty one hundred dollar. This is the way we are required to bifurcate it. So let us have summary of the entire answer. In the A part of the question, we are required to compute the amount if at all we have to pay within this time period of 10 days. Amount payable in forward. And so the incremental amount is divided into two parts. One is because of the time value of money and another is currency value fluctuation. 